All right, hey guys, it's probably pretty loud in here. My computer fan is going a little bit crazy. As you can see, I am recording using SweetFX. This is a test I'm doing. I'm trying to see how well the footage comes out, so this isn't a serious video. Um, I am running SweetFX on here. I just made a little... Where is the link to it? Oh, I think I lost it. I made a profile for the play Sniper Elite version 3 in black and white because, like, why not? Here's the thing. Let's see if it shows up. Yep. Alright, so there we go. This is the black and white um, filter. Uh, it changes the contrast quite a bit, so it's not just um, monochroming it. I, I, I'm not that lazy, but I am pretty lazy, so. Uh, it has a little bit too much gray, as you'll see here. Let's just go ahead and take a look and see. I'm, I'm mainly just making this video so I can see how the performance is. Now, as you probably noticed up here, and now, oh, I turned off the mouse capturing, but, um, it doesn't it, it it doesn't work with full screen for some reason. You have to use window capture. Um, can I record the record? Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, you have to use window capture and select the window of the game in uh, full screen. I think it will allow full sc uh, window borderless, but this game doesn't actually support that. So if we press Alt Enter, what happens? Can we still see the game? Oh hey, look, it works. Okay, so um, if you start, it looks like if you start in window capture. Uh, you can actually uh, get it to um, actually capture the window. Then you just have to press Alt Enter in games to support that, and then you can be full screen, so that's good. Again, this is a test. Let's go ahead and continue. And you're probably hearing the audio twice. I'm going to turn off the audio for now. <coughs> Alright, it looks like it's capturing pretty well. I'm using the uh, Intel Quick Sync uh, because running sweet effects and recording at 60 FPS. Um, I can my I have a pretty good graphics card, but I probably can't handle that very well. You can see my FPS in the corner, so that's kind of a problem. I mean, Steam overlay will show up too, right? Yep. Oh, there's my friend. Don't bother him. Uh, I'm offline. Yep. So that means it captures everything. So if you have an FPS counter, that will show up too. That's kind of nice. I like that. Uh, again, sorry for my loud computer in the background, but as you can see, my GPU is on fire right now. Well, not on fire, but it's 97%. So let's go shoot some people. In black and white. I call this the old movie mod. This is basically kind of like a joke mod. If you really want, you can download it. Uh, it doesn't have full instructions, so you'll need to know the basics of setting up sweet effects in order to use it. But yeah, um, it looks like it's running pretty smoothly. Again, we're recording at 60 FPS. Oh, we're dropping some frames here. We're down to 55, 56. So. And it's pretty much mirroring that on my uh, display, as you can see. I'm up to 62 on there. But recording is down to 55, so not great. But I mean, it's actually letting us record sweet effects, so that's pretty cool. Um, I don't think I've gone below 50, but we seem to be stuck in the 55 range. This is kind of a commentary. Yeah, we're being shot. Yep. I gotta like it in black and white. I'm not gonna play the whole game like this, but I think it looks pretty cool, especially with the uh, oh come on with the um, contrast. Look at that. Ooh, that was pretty nasty. The one thing I find kind of weird about this game is if you, like, blow somebody up or whatever, or shoot them, uh, whatever falls off their face, the pieces of their face kind of move backwards with them. Like, it's part of the same model. You see kind of weird, probably. Look at that. It all angles with his face. I'm pretty sure when his face moved back, that stuff's already gone, so... I don't know, it's just kind of weird. Uh, is that him right there? Hmm. Alright, well, we've shot a few dudes. You got to see what this game looks like in black and white. And, in case you guys didn't hear before, this is not simply just black and white. This is black and white with, um, enhanced sharpness, the pop, make the colors pop. It also has, uh, what else did I do? There's some film grain in there. So, film grain, sharpness, I changed the levels a little bit. So look at this, this place would be normally dark before to see what it looks like. Okay, it's not that dark before, but... It just gives it like a whole different kind of look when it's black and white, so I kind of like this, this looks cool. And yeah, I'll have a link to the mod in the description.
Oh, there, sir. <laughs> Shot into the face. All right, so oh, there's a cutscene now. Oh, I, I'm. This game's probably louder than I am. I just realized. Sorry about that. I might as well check the ridge. All right, so in case you couldn't hear what I said before, let me Alt Tab. I should turn down game audio. In case this entire video has just been a game audio blaring above me. Oh, look, it's now it's gone. So we gotta Alt Enter, make it back into windowed mode. And alt enter again to make it into full screen. Or if it's supposed to be capturing. It worked last time, that's kinda weird. Alright, so basically we're capturing sweet effects. This is a sweet effects uh, thing I have to make the game black and white. Um, in order to make it capture full screen, you gotta start in windowed mode, start capturing, like I did here. And then my last time I pressed Alt Enter, it still kept it in full screen mode. But this time it's not looking like it's working, so it might be when you first start the game. Hmm. Cause that was working really well too. Oh wow. You can still do window mode and just set the um, capture only capture the part that's on the screen. Let's see if I can show you to do how to do that. Uh, it's probably gonna get really mad at me. If you right click on the window capture you have set up. If you don't know how to use OBS, sorry, this is not gonna really help. This is just um, when you're using OBS, how you'd actually do it. Alright, so when you open it up, you'll get something like this. Um, so you want to have select region, and then you'll have this big box which you can't actually see. So I'm going to press escape. Um, position zero, 0 would be, let me capture mouse cursor so you can see what I'm pointing at. Alright, and toggle it off and back on. Alright, you still can't see my mouse cursor. Anyway, but the top left corner of your screen um, is actually where the thing starts recording. You see there's a black bar there. That's because of my window capture. I have it set to start at zero, negative 64, negative 64. So you want to have it set at zero, zero. That will be the very top of your screen. And then I will record down. Oh, look at that. That's weird. So you basically want to keep editing that until you get the right numbers. Uh, we have zero zeros, and you have to have subregion checked. And then you want to record to the bottom of your screen. So you may have to adjust that a little bit. Select region is usually a pretty good way to go. And then you can, and you'll get a, a white box you can move that doesn't quite move right with the screen. When you, once you move that box, you want to move it to the top left corner of your screen. You can't see it here, but that's what's happening. Then you press Enter, and you go ahead and press OK. And there you go. See look where we have now? It records the top of the screen, the top left corner, and we're not getting anything cut off. Now what you want to do is you want to adjust the bottom part of the screen. So double click again on your window capture, whatever you called it. It's in your sources. If you don't have a window capture, it's pretty easy. Right click in sources, or uh, I can't do it now. I've had this box open. Um, if you do not have a window capture, right click in sources, and then say add window capture. Then like I showed you before, you make it point towards uh, Sniper Elite 3 or whatever game you're capturing and you say inner window and now what we're doing is let's lower this to 1800 by uh, the width is actually good let's try that right, did it help any? yeah it cut off a little bit I think it cut off a little bit let's try it again this video is longer than I anticipated, but you gotta see me shoot some people, so that's fine. Um, oh, I adjusted the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah. 1920 is the length. And we need to adjust the height. So let's cut off about 50... Let's cut off all 80 of those pixels. And that cuts us off too much. So go back to window capture. And set it to... 20. All right. And set it to ten. All right. And so that would give you your full screen. So even if you were to press Alt Enter and it wouldn't work like it's doing here, see it goes away. Super easy way just to play it in windowed mode like this. And you'll want to set your um. You can easily cut out that black bar at the bottom using uh, your video editing suite, but there's a way to do that in the actual settings. 
you just actually say you want to stretch it to 1080p and that would stretch it for you. So yeah, that's an easy way to get it working. I don't know why Alt-Enter didn't work. If you can get Alt-Enter to work and it's still capturing your game, that's absolutely what you want. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Is there anyone over here for me to shoot? Nope. I've run out of people to shoot. Oh, look at that light. I love Sweet FX for its bloom. Makes everything look way better. Alright, well the video is already over 10 minutes, so I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll show you how to use um, QSync, I think, in my next video, so you guys can um, record without putting on any, hardly any stress on your GPU. Alright, so, yeah. I guess that's it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.